Today's main topic is basic operators. Operators are the constructs which can manipulate the value of operands. Like the expression 4 plus 5, where 4 and 5 are called the operands and the plus sign is called the operator. Now, there are 7 types of operator in Python language, namely arithmetic operators, comparison or relational operators, assignment operators, logical operators, bitwise operators, membership operators, and identity operators. Now let's have a look at all the operators one by one. First is the Python arithmetic operators which includes seven operators. The first is addition operator which adds value on either side of the operator. The subtraction operator that subtracts the right-hand operand from left-hand operand. The multiplication operator that multiplies the value on either side of the operator. The division operator that divides the left-hand operand by right-hand operand. The modulus operator that divides the left-hand operand by right-hand operand and returns remainder. The exponent operator that performs exponential power calculations on operators. The floor division operator, the division of operands where the result is the quotient in which the digits after the decimal points are removed. Now for an example using the Python language, let's assume that variable A holds the value 10 and variable B holds the value 20. Then using the different arithmetic operators, we will get the value of C. When you execute the program, it produces the following results. Next is the comparison operators. These operators compares the values on either side of them and decides the relation among them. They are also called relational operators. It has six operators, and the first one is the equal to operator, which states that if the value of two operands are equal, then the condition becomes true. Next is the is not equal to operator, which states that if values of two operands are not equal, then condition becomes true. The greater than operator, which states that if the value of left operand is greater than the value of right operand, then the condition becomes true. The less than operator, which states that if the value of left operand is less than the value of right operand, then the condition becomes true. The greater than or equal to operator, which states that if the value of left operand is greater than or equal to the value of right operand, then the condition becomes true. And lastly, the less than or equal to operator, which states that if the value of left operator is less than or equal to the value of right operand, then the condition becomes true. Now for an example, let's assume that variable A holds the value 10 and value B holds the value 20. Then using the comparison operators, we will get the relationship between A and B. When you execute the program, it produces the following results. Next is the assignment operator, which includes 9 operator. The first is the equal operator, which assigns the value from right side operand to left side operand. The add and operator, which adds the right operand to the left operand and assign the result to left operand. The subtract and, which subtracts right operand from the left operand and assign the results to the left operand. The multiply and operator, which multiplies the right operand with the left operand and assign the result to left operand. The divide and operator, which divides the left operand with the right operand and the assign the result 
to left operand. The modulus and operator, which takes modulus using two operand and assign the result to left operand. The exponent operator, which performs exponential power calculations on. The on operator, which operates and assigns values to the left operand. And the floor division operator, which performs floor division on operator and assign value to left operand. Now for an example, let's assume that variable A holds the value 10 and variable B holds the value 20. Then using the assignment operators, we will get the value of C. And when you execute the program, it produces the following results. Next is the bitwise operator, which works on bits and perform bit-by-bit -bit operation. The Python's built-in language bin open and close parentheses can be used to obtain binary representation of an integer number. It has six operators, and the first one is binary and operator, which copies a bit to the result if it exists in both operands. The binary or operator which copies a bit if it exists in either operand, the binary XOR operator, which copies the bit if it is set in one operand but not both, the binary ones complement operator, which is unary and has the effect of flipping bits, the binary left shift operator, which the left Operand's value is moved by left by the op a number of bits specified by the right operand. The binary right shift operator, which the left operator's value is moved by right by the number of bits specified by the right operand. And now in the example, we will use the pound sign to write the binary numbers of the variables. And we will use the bean syntax to write the values of the variables and using this code the program will produce the following results next is the logical operators and these following logical operators are supported by python language now let's assume that variable A holds true and variable B holds false. Then the operator and logical, which states that if both the operands are true, then the condition becomes true. The or logical operator, which states that if any of the two operands are non-zero, then the condition becomes true. And the not logical operator, which states that it is used to reverse the logical states of its operand. Next is the membership operators, and these operators test for membership in a sequence such as strings, lists, or tuples. It has two operators, and the first one is in operator, which evaluates to a true if it finds a variable in a specified sequence and false otherwise. And the not in operator, which evaluates true if it does not finds a variable in the specified sequence and false otherwise. Now for an example, let's assume that variable A holds the value 10 and the variable B holds the value 20. We will make a list of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now we will look if variable a is in the list or the variable b is not in the list using the program it produces the following results next is the identity operators which compares the memory locations of the two objects it has two operators and the first one is is which states that it values to true if the variables on either side of the operator point to the same object and false otherwise. 
The other one is NAT operator, which evaluates the false, the variables on either side of the operator, point to the same object, and true otherwise. Now for an example, let's assume that variable A is equals to 20 and variable B is also equals to 20. Now using the code, we will evaluate if the variable A has the same identity as variable B or variable B does not have the same identity as variable A. And using the code, the program, it produces the following results. And lastly, is the precedence of Python operators. We will show you a list of all the operators from highest precedence to the lowest. This would mean that the highest precedence will be the first to operate in your code expression. And this is the basic operators for the Python language.